Hi, now we're going to talk about step four in the journey, which is doing the deep dive cross-reference analytical analysis to find the root causes of super profitability or super unprofitability. Uh, so that in a, in a database architectural design, uh, as we gather all the line item profit data, uh, also, Waypoint calls it quantum data, quantum profit, because quantum is the smallest indivisible unit of matter. And uh, so the, the smallest indivisible unit of, of profit or loss would be a line item event in a distribution environment. Um, so we can take all that data and roll it up in different ways, then cross-reference, look at it in different ways, and then come with tracking reports. So we have to think of all this in advance to be able to design the database to do this. So if we were looking, for example, at a, a super profitable customer or unprofitable customer, we could right-click and first of all, we could do a PNL. Of, of the customer and look at the activity levels and allocation costs for those activities and see if anything looks like it's, it's way amiss. Uh, and what are the outstanding drivers of, of what really makes this, uh, this customer so extreme? We can, there's another option where we can look at all of the individual stock keeping units that that customer bought for the, the period trailing, whether you want to do a quarter or a year or two years, you can. They're all profit ranked. Uh, and then we can actually look at the individual activities on those 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 SKUs. Uh, so at the top of the SKU thing, we'll say, well, what are these SKUs and why are they so profitable? And you know, I, I, if I were looking at it with one of a, of a Waypoint client, I wouldn't know. But the client has got the local color. They they know what those items are. They know why they're so profitable to pick in the warehouse, or they know why the customers buying so much of that and so forth. Uh, another angle on it is to look at all the invoices, again, ranked by most profitable. And what you may find at the top is there are a couple of monster brokered orders that make, you know, 150% of the operating profit. And then actually, the, all the warehouse business is a loser or break even. Uh, but the net of it is still the customer's very profitable. That doesn't mean we have to be satisfied with breaking even or losing money in the warehouse, because again, if we're losing money, there might be a possibility of a supply chain tuning, so they will actually buy even better, and of course, we'll sell and have a lower cost to serve. Uh, when you go look at the bottom of the report, you typically will find invoices that have pennies. Uh, you know, they, uh, for lack of a paperclip, uh, they couldn't finish a, you know, a piece of equipment over an OEM uh, factory. So the OEM distributor has to race this paperclip over there uh, and lose $150. But think of the downtime cost, not to mention the paperwork cost and so forth for that paperclip. So when you see two, three, four, five, ten invoices, all uh, from the 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 same customer for, from the same location, the customer. Sometimes a big customer might have multiple people can buy off a contract, and there's one person who's really doing something dysfunctionally wrong. Uh, that, that that you'll see that. So what happens is by looking at these these cross references of the extreme customers, super profitable, unprofitable, added with local account product knowledge wisdom uh, the the story of what's really going on emerges and then we can brainstorm about solutions it's similar also for stock keeping units same thing we can we can take a super profitable or unprofitable get a PL then we can look at most active or customer rankings often super profitable items or super unprofitable could actually have just one or two customers that are buying it um, so it's a special item that's massively profitable or massively unprofitable. Um, look at all the invoices and so forth, and what will happen again is the answer emerges. Here, for stock keeping units, um, sometimes we have to come up with a with an alternative idea from another channel. Uh, for example, if you go to a, a hardware store and you want to buy an individual rubber washer, that's in an aisle that has a totally different supply chain solution for buying individual screws and, and fasteners and, and washers than everything else in their store, which they buy from their hardware wholesale co-op. Um, so the, 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 the key is to realize that if we're selling commodities via outside reps, if that's our main uh, mode of business these days, um, what customers buying what SKUs with what kind of buy-sell process design or redesign is possible. So when we find super profitable customers buying super profitable items using very efficient process design, that's a model for what we want to take down to our, the bottom of a report and, and solve. Uh, and so we can. Thank you.